Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be about challenge coins. Now, what's a challenge coin? You do an internet search, go on Google, you'll find a lot of information about challenge coins. They actually go back loosely related to the Romans. Back in the Roman times, the, uh, the Roman soldiers were given medallions or emblems that they could take with them when they were going to the field of battle and these emblems or medallions would identify what unit they were with. It kind of morphed over the years. Well, actually, it kind of went away for a little while, but uh, it morphed over the years into coins. It made a big resurgence back in the Vietnam War day, early 60s, mid 60s, Cambodia, Laos. We were fighting the war in Vietnam and there was a lot of clandestine operations that were going on across the border into these other two countries. and. The soldiers could not be publicly recognized for merit. They, you know, did an outstanding job on a mission or whatever. They, they, they couldn't get uh, medals because of, you know, it was a secret operation. So what the army did was they actually came up with these coins and uh, they're very well documented. And each coin um, had a specific reason it was given to a a specific person and like i said very well documented as to who got them and these were done to replace the fact that they were not receiving public recognition or public medals for the work that they were doing now as time kind of went on uh, the challenge coin kind of morphed again it came to a point to where whenever people would go into bars, especially like a military owned bar or something like that, trophies of war uh, were offered up in exchange for entry into the bar. Stuff like, um, you know, AK-47 that they took from an enemy soldier or, you know, a bullet or a piece of artillery or, or something like that. So what actually happened with that was all of these bars would have all the patrons in there, but over in the corner, you'd have this big stack of ammunition and artillery and you know this this stuff that's live and it was actually quite dangerous so um the challenge coin evolved to replace that uh the trophies of war you could get them from different places you could get them uh like i said for specific acts of valor acts of service um they could be presented to you from uh, somebody up higher in the chain of command uh, nowadays you can get challenge coins for events, you can get challenge coins for units, you can get challenge coins that are personal and have people's names on them and they, they hand them out as tokens of appreciation to other people. What I want to show you today is my collection of challenge coins that I got while I was in the military. I want to show you what a, uh, a challenge coin, how it would be used possibly in a bar and they call it a coin check, and it looks something right. like this. Coin check. Now the purpose for a coin check is if you're in the bar, a bunch of military folks there, and somebody yells, coin check. The last person to retrieve his coin and to put it down on the bar would be buying a round for everybody that threw a coin onto the, onto the bar. Now, if the one person that called the coin check was the only person there, that had a coin well first of all shame on everybody else for not having theirs but it's generally accepted that okay this person called a coin check and they're in the wrong crowd ain't nobody got a coin so they're kind of expected to buy the round for everybody so it's a bit of a game but uh, anyway that's that's the, the purpose of the coin check when you're bar um, also presenting a coin I'm gonna show you kind of what that looks like and, and this is usually when somebody has personal coins and they're giving them to other people as tokens of appreciation so the uh, the presentation of a coin would look something like this and that is given from one person to the other now if somebody asked hey can I look at your challenge coin you're not supposed to hand it to them you're supposed to lay it down and they can either look at it while it's laying down or they can pick it up after asking permission and they can look at it and then they're supposed to lay it back down and then the owner retrieves the coin. You're never supposed to hand a coin from one person to another because generally that is considered presenting. 
giving a coin to somebody. I'm gonna show you my collection. I've got, I don't know, 25, maybe, maybe up to 40. I'm not sure exactly how many I got. Hopefully you enjoy watching the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel if you're not already done so. Hit the like button, hit the notification button, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about challenge coins. If I got something wrong or if there's something that I didn't mention that you think I should have, leave it in the comments down below. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Hope y'all have a really, really great day. God bless, and we'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye.